okay so now take a look at the question number two so what we need to do is we need to add this text in the bus worksheet and it's about destination mean delay in A to a B2 and then this should be center alignment bold okay so if we open up we can see here so this two are we have to add we added destination mean delay they are bold and again <coughs> these are also bold and center aligned okay so now take a look at uh, the question number three so the first is the date column so if you look into this date column what does it say we need to extract the first six digits so we need to if you look in the question paper we need to extract the first six digits and it should look like this it should be in the date format okay so in order to do this we can go here and we can use this equal date meet we use meet because we need to extract the year so this is to extract the year and we add 100 to it because if we don't add 100 it will display as 1900 we want the date to be 2000 so we have to add 100 and this is for the month so this month this is for the month and this is for the day so the, our format is in year month and day so when we do this we get this date but in order to be in this format we go to the format on customize you can customize and or in the date you can select the English United Kingdom and after that you can select this format okay so this will give you and then you can drag and go down and you will see the date okay so the next one is your destination column so this is your destination column to extract the first name of the destination using a single letter embedded so again to get the destination what we need to do we have to use this code so that the x t which is in your okay in your code so where is x now so x is in 11 position and we need only one so we can use the meet function and we need to use the vlookup to look for the destination so where is destination it's in this so if it is a it should be terminal a if it is b it should be terminal b okay so let's go back so you can see here and it comes from the destination worksheet and we give the dollar a dollar two dollar b dollar nine this is the range so this is the range okay so this is the range of the destination so this is your range so we can give a name if you want you can give a name but if you don't give a name you have to give the name of the worksheet that is the destination and then dollar a dollar two dollar b dollar nine and we look from the column two so once you do this you can get the destination then you can drag and copy the next is to calculate the late so in order to calculate the late we have to minus that is like a arrive by the due okay so here if you see that the late column so what we need to do here is the late column to calculate the number of minutes the bus was late if the bus was early it should return zero so if the bus has arrived earlier so we don't have to do anything just have to give zero 
that's why we need to give so if c14 less than b14 we give 0 else just the difference between c14 and b14 so we get this and then we can change the format the format should be in minute and second so when you go to custom you can ch change the format to minute and second and this will give us this format so the next is to display only in minute so if you want to display this time the late only in the minute as an integer value so we can multiply by 1440 so what is 1440 so 1440 is basically okay so 1440 is basically 24 hours so 24 hours in 1440 minutes okay so that's why we have to multiply by